What's up, YouTube? My name is Nathaniel Green, and welcome to King Badoja's Effects. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some simple animation. We're going to give this character life. Let's get started. First of all, I'm working on Windows, and the reason I'm letting you know that because on Windows you will have to hit Control, and and then you can select multiple um, parts on the character like that the reason why that's important because when you select when you can be able to select multiple you know parts right here this here's the rotation tool and as you can see we get some animation right if you don't hit the control tool you can only select one at a time maybe that's what you want maybe you only want to control the head look side to side and also it has these extra little gizmos on the top where it gives you like just single action, you know. Depends on your preference, how you trying to animate. But um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be selecting multiple, multiple parts because I want some animation. So I'm going to start off with his head. So I'm going to hit control first and then I'm going to left click the mouse, head neck lower neck chest and belly let's also get his eyes and i'm not going to do his arms because we'll animate his arms later i want this to go for about maybe just to just for four seconds it'll be four seconds of animation and um what's nice about this is keyframes this is the keyframes down here we're going to start it by gonna hit play let it play for about one second all right there we'll have him looking that way okay play when he gets there it's about two seconds we'll have him look that way and as you can see underneath is collecting and creating keyframes as as we go along so let's hit play again when it gets to three seconds, we'll have him look back that way. And then when it gets to four seconds, he's going to look right back at us. All right. Now let's play that and see what we got. Ain't that cool? We're creating animation. All right, let's stop that. Let's get that back to the beginning. Now we want to start with his arms. Cause his arms ain't doing not a god dog thing. So let's get his arms moving. So y'all wanna click y'all wanna click this bone too because you, you can hold and grab drag bones. Like that. We wanna give his hands some action, right? So now we're gonna hit play again. When he looks that way, it look like he's looking for a cap. So let's have him waving. Then the cap just went right past him. So he put his arm back down and he's gonna probably wave this for another cap he see maybe coming another way. That one passed. He's having a bad day, it looks like, ain't he? Let's bring that down. Then it goes back to this. And let's just bring his arms. And let's just play this real quick and see what we got. See that? We're giving this character life. But we're not done there. He needs some expressions. So what we want to do next is let's um make sure that's clicked back at the beginning gonna click on his head right and you want to click right here in the parameters right here parameters we're gonna highlight the head and um, if you don't really have too many things over here like what I have you can buy actually extra um, expressions from the dad store you know but the characters usually come with expressions too okay so you can see I have all these expressions so um, you can have eyes, expressions, all kind 
you know, for example, screaming, you know, you have all kind of things. All these things can help give your character life. So let's hit play. He goes that way. Look like he would probably be kind of screaming for the taxi or something. So I'll open his mouth a bit right there. And he goes down. You see another one. Let's move that back just a bit. When he gets to about right here, maybe his mouth will close. Don't want it just to stay open. Give him a sad look. Because he's just having a bad day. He gets there. He's still sad. And let's have his mouth. Let's see what else. Um, let's see. Disappointed. Play that. This, no, I'm not disgusted that on go. You guys kind of get the drift of what I'm doing, right? Also, comment, you know, comment the video. Let me know what you think or if it's things I probably haven't covered if you're curious. But I will have more videos on going through more things on how you can use Puppeteer and Bunch. But this is just pretty much the basics right now. Um, he's angry. Let's give him right now. Look like Rocky after fighting Creed, right? Apollo Creed. But anyway, um, let's take off some of it these looks when he gets to here yeah. hold on yeah it can take time you know if um creating this animation because if you it depends on how much you want to put into it how much i'm actually just going to leave it there i don't want to you know just so you guys can get the point you know get the drift see you have some expressions now you know mouth moving all right now it looks pretty good but look at his hands they just stand like in karate chop mode so we want to give his hands some motion as well so just like how we highlighted the head to get expressions you can click on the hand that's the right hand and you can get different things like a chop and i want to look for a fist there you go see how you can see that Let's have it kind of, and let's click on this one here, and that's the left fist. And we want to, um, let's see, get that fist too, right? So when it gets to there, that fist should open for wave, right? And this one here will give it a little bit as well. Give it some. Not too much, but just enough to give you attention. Now, this one should be just about, um, let's see, closing just to give it a little bit of motion. And this one here, let's give them almost that. Chop in a little bit, and we get that. Okay, when he gets to here, let's have him ball this fist up a little bit, clench it a little bit, and yeah, now let's play that. See that? We gave the character life, and that's pretty much how easy it is to create some simple animation in dash 3d um i have many more tutorials coming you know showing you more how you can get your character to talk how you can get them to walk you know all those goodies those will be in future videos that's why you need to hit the subscribe button so you can be the first to get them when they come out and um like always 
I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and peace.